Thousands across the country face the everyday challenges that come with having multiple sclerosis. But it's not only those diagnosed who feel the impact, families are also hit hard. And as Kelsey Bloxham explains, it's especially hard on kids, which is why the Lloyd Minster MS Society holds a summer camp for children touched by the disease. It's the first day of the four day long MS kids camp, which makes learning about MS fun. We're teaching them about MS. We're trying to make MS not so scary to them so that they can go home and feel empowered because they know what this disease is and what it's doing to affect their loved one. The annual program is for kids 5 to 12 years old, not only teaching about the disease, but also showing them they aren't alone. We try and teach them as much as we can about what MS is and what areas of the body it affects. So we do things like we're drawing out their bodies and they're labeling their brain and different uh, what different parts of their brain do. Look at it. All right, whose brain is next? Who's ready? play lots of games, we went to lots of places like the zoo. This is Raphael's second time at the camp, along with his older sister and younger twin brothers, one of which has MS. Sometimes he gets tired faster than me and when we try to get along, um, we just... That one's my last it's hard. I think it can just be overwhelming, right? You don't know what's going on. You're going for an MRI. You're in this big machine as a child. So by getting him here and showing him that he does have a support group and that it isn't something that can be like scary to his life, it's very important. And by the looks on the kids' faces here, they are well on their way to understanding more about the disease and realizing it isn't as scary after all. Kelsey Bloxham, New Cap News. A local cheese company has opened its doors to the public, giving a behind the scenes look into how natural artisan cheese is created right here at home. Nariman Issa has more. So we'll start the tour off here in the, um, in the cheese tree itself and then we'll head um, out to the animals afterwards. Rhonda Zuke Hayden is the owner and cheesemaker at the cheesery. The unique cheese boutique is located just outside Kitscotty. An open house was held Sunday to give a behind-the-scenes look at the art of making the beloved dairy product. I think for them it's interesting to see what a, a piece of cheese really looks like um, and just to understand how you can make cheese. I myself, before I knew how to make it, I only assumed that you could make it in a factory, uh, not knowing that you could make it on a smaller basis. Hayden says many people have asked for a tour. One of the biggest reasons is because they use sheep's milk. Many people don't know that you can milk a sheep, so that's very uh, interesting for them. A lot of people in the area have uh, worked on a dairy or, you know, they, they used to milk cows long ago, so for them that's interesting to uh, see how sheep are milked. Hayden also wants people to know that her company only uses fresh ingredients. She says a lot of cheeses aren't made from pure milk, but from milk powders and modified milk ingredients. Hopefully people get to see a, um, a true a true farm, a true food process. We want to be as transparent as possible with our, with our food production, uh, knowing that we don't hide anything. We are using our pure milk and that um, you know, we produce in a, a clean facility and we want people to feel comfortable with what they're eating. The cheesery makes several kinds of cheese, including feta and pecorino, an Italian type cheese. If you're interested in checking out the cheesery, you can email Hayden at cheesery at gmail.com. Nairmanisa, New Cap News. <laughs> and that is all the time we have tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night. <laughs>